Barca and give it to you in the locker room. Good luck and make the best win. Check the gloves and go to your corners. Ten year age difference between these two gentlemen. Eric, little hands of steel, Morel, 36 years old, born in 1975. Looking to get back on top. Facing 26 year old Abner Mares, who's been almost flawless in his career, has never lost a fight. One draw to Yanni Perez. And we're underway for the vacant WBC World Super Bantamweight title. Hey, Gus, I'll tell you one thing, and I feel that all the corners has bowed into it, and also the fans about this Mexican Puerto Rican uh, pride that both of these fighters seem to have. You saw both flags. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Here we go again. And Eric Morrell started out by landing a really nice right hand. So for him, and it's all about, for Eric Morrell, I think it's all about these early rounds. Getting the confidence they can hang with this young man. And he's slick, man. I mean, this guy got great ring generalship. Yes. And his defense is there. I mean, I think if Mar if, if, if uh, Abner Mars can't get there with those big shots early, he's going to allow Eric Morrell to get confident. Hey, but Rick! And Morrell, the former WBA flyweight champion, defended the title five times. And he's fought some terrific former world champions, Jerry Panolas, Martin Castillo, Lorenzo Parra. A lot of experience in the ring tonight, and he looks in tip-top shape. Yeah, he does look great. I mean, that, and that jab is going to be a key weapon for Eric Morrell. If he's snapping it like that, and you keep seeing Eric, ooh, uh, uh, Abner Mars' head snap back, that's going to give him a, a lot of confidence to do what he do. You know, one thing we never do at this table is make snap judgments ever in the first round. But it is very early in this fight, but I will tell you, Eric Morrell looks sharp. As for Abner Mares, he won the IBF world title in his first meeting with Joseph Ekbeko, a 12-round controversial majority decision because of low blows. And because of the controversy, he gave Ekbeko a rematch December of 2011 in, Anaheim, in Anaheim, and he won a 12-round unanimous decision in the rematch against Ekbeko and looked terrific. Yeah, it was a great performance by Abner Mars. Mars wants to go to the body early. Here's the left hook. That's going to be a calling card for Mars. Mars wants to put pressure on Eric Morrell, and as Antonio said earlier, make him remember that you haven't fought a really top-notch fighter for a long time, even though he's got an 11-fight win streak. At this level, and with everything's at stake, it's a different ball game. And now Mares is starting to get in more power punches in the second portion of this round. first round. Things heating up in this fight already. The jab setting up that right hand by Mares, and then uh, some punches afterwards, but the right hand was clearly the one that was important. Not a knockdown, but that right got in, and so did a number of power punches from Mares toward the end of the round. And what are the keys for Abner Mares? Yeah, for Mares, um, against the 36-year-old, you want to work the body early, and he has started to do that toward the end of the round. Mares says he wants to keep the pressure on. Remind him he's in with a tough fighter. Can't be reckless, though, when he does. And for Eric Morrell, he is a very cagey fighter, that's for sure, and he wants to be as cute or clever as he can. Don't trade left hooks with uh, Mares. And the jab and the straight right, which we saw a couple of times in round one, are the ticket for him. The second round scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA Bantamweight, Super Bantamweight Championship as Abner Mares in the black and white takes on Eric Morrell in the gold and white trunks. 
Eric Morel became a little more stationary in the second part of that round, and that was when Mars was able to start landing power punches, and he's doing it again. And Morel holding on. He may have been hurt. He was. Morel now exchanging. He said, if I have to change my strategy in the middle of this fight and stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I have to do it. I don't know if this is a good thing for Eric Morrell, but it looks like he's fighting from a heart, from his heart, and he knows how much this fight means to him, but he stayed stationary, he kept his chin up, and Abner Mars was able to land. But you see Eric Morrell fighting back. That's the mark of a champion. He won't quit. And if this is a firefight, it doesn't really favor him, but he will create a fight for us here and maybe be fortunate right. to land something that right. might hurt Mares, but that's a long shot. Mares using the free hand. Mares trying to jump on him. You can see Abner Mares, according to his trainer, has been gaining muscle over the last two or three fights. He looks very fit and stronger than we've ever seen. Abner Mars said that his, uh, he was going to press him. He was going to show him that he hadn't fought at this level in a while. And you know what? He's done that. Now it's important for Eric Morrell to raise to the occasion. He has to take it to another level now. And interestingly, Mars thought he would do it with the body shots early, but he's landed some really good shots to the head, both hooks and straight right hands. Ooh. Looping right hand. Uppercut go by Morrell. And if Mares would love for this to be a blow. It's his type of fight. What's impressive about what Mares is doing is he's very precise with his work, working behind the jab and being a very good boxer puncher and a powerful one. And what I like I, that I see that he's improved on, he has those punches straight yes. and sharp. He's not winning those shots, but he's throwing with more power. And look at Mares saying, come on, Morel. Mares, uppercut, right hand, rolling. Ooh, sitting on his punches. Mares, sticking. and gave Abner Mars all kinds of confidence and then a little bravado, Antonio. Hey, he's feeling good. I mean, this guy is the uh, bantamweight champion, the Showtime bantamweight champion. Why shouldn't he be confident? <laughs> Third round scheduled for 12. For the vacant WBC Super Bantamweight title, two former champions in the ring. Abner Mares considered the favorite in black and white. Eric Morrell, the 36-year-old in gold and white. Now Abner Mares pushing through. Eric Morrell has taken some serious shot with that overhand right. He seemed like he's found a home with that. Abner Mares has. And uh, Eric Morrell needs to slow this fight down yeah. a little bit. He has to trust his jab and trust his footwork. Yes. Maybe at 36, he can't continue to move like he used to. But he's got to try. It's a very good point. And uh, you look at the total punches and Mares landing at 38% and for Morel uh, only 19%. Um, and obviously uh, Mares busier as well. Mares averages 79 punch per round, per round normally. He's not quite there at that, but he's thrown a lot of punches. Mares pinning Morel in the corner. Morel. Pivoting and gets back to the center of the ring. 
And there was an example of what Antonio talked about. There was good footwork by Morelli. He was then able to land a little sneaky right hand. I don't know if any of that's going to hurt Mares, but he's got to try to land those. But one thing he has to do, he has to get under that right hand when Abner Mares comes close. He's standing up too straight, and he's vulnerable for the overhand shots. You made that point very effectively when Juan Manuel Lopez fought Orlando Salida. And it's happening again, Derek Morrell. Forty seconds ago in the third round, scheduled for twelve of the vacant WBC Super Bantamweight title. These two men fighting at a catch weight of 120 pounds. Eric Morrell has been pursued all three rounds by Abner Mare. Left hook landing for Mare. Again, Eric Morrell standing straight up when he gets in the combat in the combat zone where he needs to get low. And Morrell has a lot. 